Yes, I am very sure. All right, the recording has started. Uh, there's 60 people in here. So let us begin. First of all, I uh, want to say that we are working on some exciting stuff, uh, mainly a quite large expansion upon the storyline and also some new features alongside uh, releases on other platforms as well. So with that out of the way, we wanted to provide you with a tiny update on uh, our project Unreal as well, which is currently progressing very nicely. Senna and uh, Nick are working on that uh, as we speak. Mainly background stuff, so not much to show yet, but once there is much more to show, we will definitely be showing you some of that stuff or some of the screenshots, maybe even, uh, you know, have a sneaky peeky uh, testing build available that you may try out so that you can see what changes uh, will come to it. So with that currently out of the way, uh, what we are also planning to release this month still, because we don't know if our story expansion will be done yet by uh, this month. Uh, we are working very hard on getting it there, but that's unsure. So for now, what we definitely will be pushing is a few fixes for alliances that are currently abusing our API system, which allows them to have uh, a lot of information that they uh, normally shouldn't have or should only get once one of their users comes online and shares it with the alliance. This will probably be pushed on the 15th of this month alongside some crash fixes that have been occurring during troop training. Also some fixes of the anti-cheat which has uh, provided some misjudgments. We don't have much in terms of content yet, but we are working on other stuff. We are still working on content and we are also planning to do much more contests in the future. Uh, you know, destroy base contest, train troops contest. Um. So now that that's out of the way, let's see if you guys have some questions for us right now. Will you add the ability to add friends without add them, adding them via Steam? Yes, we are indeed working on an internal friend system for Phoenix itself, which will, of course, sync with your Steam account if you want it to. You don't have to use it. And then you can add friends that way. That's also the last thing stopping us from releasing onto other platforms as we are currently quite ingrained into Steam. But that will come in a future landing page update, which we will probably be able to provide you more info about in the coming days. How has the development uh, been in general since the last update you gave us? Well, I have been sick and I have also been working on uh, my well day job to say. So not too much. The most work that's been done is on Unreal or yeah, Unreal has seen the most work. After that, it's mainly been a lot of bug fixes, talking about new future content updates, working out the content updates, working with uh, the other people, with the 3D modelers and the artists and the programmers to work on the new game update. So can I, well, can't say much on what it is yet, but it is coming along nicely, it is progressing. One of our guys is also getting ready to make a uh, trailer for it. So uh, once that's out, well, you'll definitely be able to see it. And that should be uh, really nice. Uh, we can't mention that we have like way more artists working on this than we had before. It's like a really big project. So it's really something to look forward for. We also have a very nice event planned in the coming future. So uh, you'll also love that one. I'm very certain of that. Any upcoming uh, performance improvements is another question from Lucas. Andy, sorry. Uh, worry about it. Basically, yes, we are working, or well, Brian is working on ensuring that the front end page no longer takes up uh, half your CPU. But those are very eh, difficult things because it's ingrained into how the UI works. And then also, of course, Project Unreal is also a massive performance improvement, but uh, yeah, that won't be in incoming uh, very soon. Um, 
Will there be any more content to do as a new player? My whole experience so far is opening the game, collecting, upgrading, closing the game for 3 hours repeat, which is fine, but it feels a bit too slow. Yes, we are planning to add a lot more content, a lot more stuff for you to do. And then when we also add a lot more back-to-back -back contests or other types of events that you have, well, more to do, that you have stuff that you can do, maybe some quests that arrive daily. We definitely have that on our roadmap to provide you with that as soon as is possible. Are we going to redo the in-game UI? Well, we haven't really had plans for it, but if it's uh, something that you'd like to see, you can go to our polling website, like polls.galaxylivegame.net and ask there for a makeover of the UI, but currently we don't have any makeovers for the UI in plan. Uh, when Starbase 10? We are actually working on uh, the idea for Starbase 10, but we feel that the current Starbase level 9 was just added as a filler uh, previously and definitely needs some more stuff added to it before we release a massive new update like Starbase 10. So more content will be added to Starbase 9 before we will get to doing a Starbase 10. When will it become available for mobile? That will be as soon as, um, as the Unreal project is done. But that's still on the roadmap. We don't know when it will be done. It can be done ne next year. It can be done way later. It all depends on uh, the speed of our development and uh, how many developers we can put on it. Also, how many developers we have that can do it. So, yeah. Uh, when battle log fix, please, should be a priority there. Yes, like I said in the beginning, we are working on uh, the API abuse that's been happening and with that we're also updating our API to ensure that uh, stuff like battle logs that are suddenly missed or not added will not happen anymore. Have you considered adding a mode where you are introduced to the new mechanics by attacking pre-made base with pre-made armies? Personally, I don't really understand how all the units work, and I feel like this could help. That is actually a very interesting idea. While, that we ha while we haven't considered that yet, that's a good thing to put on the roadmap. Andy, write that down. So probably one of the best ways is to add an in-game tutorial system where you're just like, hey, so uh, there's new units, would you like to do the tutorial for them? Or that you can open and then just be like, okay, so I actually don't know how to work with flamethrower, so can I open a tutorial for it? It'll require quite some work, but would definitely be a good addition. When are starlings changing colors? Well, that's an excellent question. I will look into that. I will provide you with an answer and a uh, release date for that feature because that would indeed be a really nice feature to see. The, the player base seems to like it. It's whatever. Then we add it. And if at a later time they're like, holy shit, we actually do hate it, then we just remove it. That's the beauty of game development. You add stuff that you worked on for months and then you can remove it. Yeah, someone just said do cosmetic things really need to make sense lore-wise. This is exactly how I feel kind of not right now because both does and doesn't make sense. But in in general, all the other starlings and like the art, etc., is still like orange for you. Like you could imagine your starlings are still orange; they just look different. Yeah, so yeah, should be fine. Uh, a wall tool for building mode. That's not a bad idea. Mm, news about the new war system or a moving online mechanic. We are, well, we actually had a talk planned about that today to discuss possibly adding or changing the war system in a few ways. But uh, due to annoying circumstances, that call was uh, postponed. So we still have to make the call on what uh, we will exactly be doing. But once we have uh, some ideas, we will definitely be polling them. So you guys can, of course see if you agree to the changes or not agree to the changes and yes if we rework the war system then it'll be certain that online will no longer be a mechanic inside of it to ensure that uh, we don't have the issue with people camping online and that we also don't have to kick everybody every x amount of hours to make sure that everybody has a good chance Anything to make the game more enjoyable for players who aren't interested in PvP and more PvE? Maybe some new buildings or materials things. That is actually what we have planned. We want to expand upon the NPCs a lot, but also about things you can do in PvE instead of PvP. 
though those are still being worked out. The main focus right now is uh, working on the MPCs because basically the MPCs don't have an equivalent of your Starbase 9, so like, hey, nice, how fun. So that's definitely something that we want to do. Uh, Galaxy Life Sandbox Server. No idea, man. Someday, who knows. Removing the online mechanic sounds really bad, but also depends on how you're going to rework shit. Well, I mean, if you look at some different games, like for example, Clash of Clans, also doesn't have an online mechanic. It's a lot different though. Don't know if we were gonna rework it that much, but we definitely want to change it in a way that discourages staying online, discourages uh, using macros and stuff. Are you considering adding more content related to MPCs like LDV or Sparagon, uh, such as more basic levels? Uh, no, such as more, ba yes, basic levels, different base structures. Uh, hmm, that's an interesting idea. While we have indeed been working on uh, adding more levels for uh, MPCs, like Sparagon mostly, because LDV is not attackable, um, for people who are not familiar with the game strategies, that kind of goes back to the question that we got before, where uh, somebody asked to add some tutorial system, and then once we add a tutorial system to that, then you can more easily learn the game, get more familiar with strategies, maybe think of some more strategies. Do you think you'll add any additional content for Valentine's Day? <clears throat> Valentine's Day is still uh, quite a bit in the future. We'll probably be thinking about that around Christmas, because... Uh, that's basically when uh, the next event is going to be Valentine. So, uh, no, we haven't any content ideas yet. But do I think we will add any? Yes, I believe so. Uh, 